graphic extras. In this video I'm just going to show you how to copy a custom shape design to After Effects and use it as a shape layer. Now it's not the best of features the way it works. It works with some shapes, shapes that are more complicated. It doesn't particularly well. Maybe it does but I certainly haven't found much joy with that. So what I'm going to do now, I'm using Photoshop CC 2014. I've uh, going to got the custom shape tool here shape there and I'm using one of these shapes up here. These ones are from Graphic Extras, they're cross design shapes. Just create that shape, now go to Edit, Copy, go to After Effects and in After Effects I'm just going to quickly create a new shape layer and the first thing to do, just going to go and select one of these tools over here, pen tool. And I'm just going to create just a little single point. Simple as that. Now just go copy and there you have it. You've actually got the design has been copied in. Now if you try it say with a more complicated path and I'm just going to go, don't want that one. I'm just going to go back to Photoshop. Just deselect that, remove that and I'm just going to go for a like just a basic outline shape now. Copy that and you'll go goes to After Effects and now I've got the same point selected. Copy into it and you'll notice it doesn't come out as you would expect. So to say any compound pass seem to have a problem. So uh, apparently there is some workaround available for some pass but for certainly for this Unfortunately, you can use it to create some basic shapes, maybe shapes slightly more complicated than the normal ones that uh, come with uh, After Effects, but clearly not every kind of shape from Photoshop or even Illustrator. Hope you found this of interest.